In Texas, CHIP insures about 400,000 children, and that impact is felt in the Austin ISD, where last year nearly 6,000 students qualified for insurance under CHIP. KXAN's Phil Prazen shows us some families are worried. Like any child, three-year-old Sophia Leon can be a handful. Basically putting anything in their mouth, they're having accidents at any time. Her mom, Rosalia Leon, pays $50 a year for health insurance, and federal taxpayers pick up the rest through the Low Income Child Health Insurance Program, known as CHIP. Lawmakers in Washington just ended that program. What if one day she ends up having to go to the emergency room for whatever reason it is, then I'm going to be stuck with not, you know, a hundred dollars, but a couple thousand dollars. The big concern for Dr. Guadalupe Zamora is thousands of children won't get checkups and vaccinations that prevent life-threatening diseases. But immunizations really, really helps us to keep those children out of the hospital. With, you know, they don't get pneumonias, they don't get meningitis. You know, they don't get the hepatitis that they used to. Without those preventative measures, children in Austin will get sick and, at best, miss school. It's a catastrophe because we need those children to be healthy. The CHIP program is a federal-state partnership. With the federal money gone, the state of Texas says it can only keep it going with reserve funds through January. Dr. Zamora and Rosalia worry because that will be the height of cold and flu season. Phil Prazen. KXAN News. This week, lawmakers are scrambling to come up with a solution. There's a bill in committee tomorrow that would reauthorize CHIP, but a timeline for passing that is anyone's guess. KXAN has reached out to all of our Texas senators and members of Congress in Washington to see who wants to continue the program and who wants to change it. You can check that out at KXAN.com. And children on CHIP, like Sophia, are typically from families who make too much to be on Texas Medicaid, but who cannot afford health insurance. To qualify, children have to be 18 or younger and either a U.S. citizen or a legal permanent resident in Texas. It's also based on a family's income. The more family members, the higher the threshold. For instance, in a family of four that makes less than $50,000, children in that family could qualify. But for a family family of six, the family only has to bring in $66,000 a year for the children to qualify.